Well, here we are onto the uh, pump. First thing we're going to do is take these four little rings off. And uh, as you can see, they're interlocked. But what I do is I take a little uh, pick. I, know, I can't really do it with one hand, but stick it in there and unlock the tabs. Just like that. Now I can uh, go ahead and pull it off, all four of them. And then we'll be able to take the uh, five bolts off there and pull the pump out. Well, I've undone the five bolts and uh, lifted the stator out of there. And these are your oil pump gears. It's a pretty simple system. There's a hole underneath here where the fluid is sucked up on one side because as this opens up, the gap in here expands, sucks the fluid in, and travels around here. And it goes to the other side where it's compressed, and it flows out of another hole that's down there on the bottom. There we go. Pretty simple system. So now i got to knock that uh, seal out, clean everything up, and I'm ready to put it back together. Well, now that I've got the pump apart and have kind of been looking at it, I noticed a few things. Um, first off, this dot, this is exactly the way it was facing in here. This dot should be the other way. So basically this was installed right, but the outer one was installed backwards or upside down. And the bearing in there is all chewed up. That's no good. I'm going to have to toss that. And the seal here, I don't know if you can see all these bumps, it looks like somebody just smacked it in with a hammer, so... I've got a new one of these, but I'm not sure if I want to just go ahead and get a whole new pump assembly, or if I want to try and replace this bearing. Um, I don't have a tool for this particular part, but I have a cam bearing installation tool that might work, I don't know. I'm going to have to go uh, look at part prices and see what I want to do, so far as I'm going to go for right now. Well, as you can see, I've got the pump apart. Uh, I've got the bushing out and the seal out. The seal just pops out with a screwdriver and then uh, I tapped on the uh, bushing with a punch. Just tapped here and then tapped here until it came out. And I've got my new one. I bought a couple of these in case I screw it up. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean this all up first and then install this in there hopefully I can use this cam bearing installation tool hopefully it'll work um, big rod there and pound it in we'll see what happens but I got three of these in case I screw up so not a big deal if I ruin one and that engine there I got the bearings for that as well so I'll be tearing that down soon enough well, I think it worked pretty dang good. I got the bushing in. I knew I bought this press for a reason. Sweet. Well, I've got the new bushing in. That went slicker than snot. I just used an extension with my cam bearing tool and my press. She went right in. So now I can clean up the rest of it and start putting her back together. Awesome. Well, now that I've got that in there, I've got to put this little seal in here and I'm going to pound it in with this bearing race installer. The beauty about this tool is I can use it backwards. It'll fit right on top and push that thing in perfect. Sweet. Well that worked like a charm. Now I can put these little rings on. Skinny ones on the bottom, fat ones on the top. Alright, gears are in. Now all that's left to do is set that down, put the bolts in, and torque them down, and we're ready to go. Well, all the bolts are torqued to 20 foot-pounds. Everything is together. All done. Next up is the uh, valve body. <laughs> 